start off on, I guess, the biggest news, a kind of somber note that you guys are wrapping things up. Yeah, it's the, the time I was dreading for uh, many, many years, I guess. But, yeah, it's, it's finally here. I guess, yeah, a bit of bittersweet, like there's, you know, uh, a lot of things going on in, in life that is, you know, um, personal life anyway that sort of made the decision a bit easier. But, um, yeah, definitely definitely a hard one to um, to call. Yeah, right. So has this been a long time coming or has this just kind of happened and you've got to deal with it? Um, it's it's a hard one. Like in in the faceless era, I felt I felt Buried in Verona was uh, winding down. There was a lot of internal problems. There was a lot of mm. debt and stress and and sort of everything that that comes with with massive amounts of debt. You know, it, it definitely <laughs> affects people um, in in weird ways, and it, it um, you know it sort of affected our personal lives and personal relationships, and it was just. Uh, in that, as I said, in that era, I felt like it was definitely sort of the the beginning of the end, um, unfortunately. But after touring that album and then taking a little bit of time off to just reflect on what had happened and, and what we've done, and and sort of try and get over the the massive amount of debt which we you know slowly but surely chipped away at, um, and then just before Vultures Above, we uh, had a meeting with everyone. Um, you know, including all the members of the band, etc. Um, mm. And after after those couple of months of just no music and no buried in Verona and no nothing, you know what I mean. Everyone felt you know quite revitalised and and knew that and knew how much they'd miss it. We, we all just sort of, as a group, found out individually while we were sort of away from each other that that we really would miss it and, and we wanted to sort of give it one more go. So. That's when we started writing Vultures Above Lines Below and that's the weird thing. It felt, after we did that record, um, it felt revitalised and we felt back and um, we feel that we created, you know, probably our best album in, in Vultures Above Lines Below. So we were stoked and ready to sort of tour that um, and go on that sort of two-year cycle and unfortunately the, the debt and all that sort of stuff kept kept sort of creeping back and... I think a lot of people just um, just couldn't do it anymore, and I was, you know, still quite passionate about it. I still love playing live, and I decided to continue it, sort of, you know, by myself. And I've been here from the start, so it's, it's nothing new. But yeah, but now it's just, I guess it's just too much now, too much for me to handle, and I've got to uh, give it a miss before I think I hate hate it more than love it, which is what I'm scared of. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. You can really drive it into the ground and. Make it something that you used to love. Exactly right. Yeah, I just you know I want I, I'm I'm proud of the album that we did last. Um, I'm proud of all of our accomplishments. Yeah, accomplishments, I should say, um, throughout the years. So I mean, I, it's it's horrible. Like uh, you know, I'd love to end up living off music and uh, yeah. and being one of those bands that, that get to do that. But I guess it just it just wasn't our um wasn't meant to be. As cliche as that sounds, but it's I guess you know it's true. <laughs> Yeah, well, this is the thing. These days, we're finding bands, well, more and more bands are making Patreon accounts, Kickstarter campaigns, and just to get that album out there, just to get a day in the studio, it's just costing more and more, like mentally, physically, and as well as your bank account. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, it's it's a it's a you know, especially the early days, it's a it's a hard slog to sort of get your name out there and and all that sort of stuff. And I I definitely believe a band you know should earn its stripes. Um, Play as many shows as they can, and mm. you know, and do do all the the um the really hard stuff because I think that's where you get a lot of joy as well. Looking back on, you know, I can't believe we did this, or we stayed here, or we drove this, and like all those stories, you know, you look back and you just think it, it was just amazing what what you did. Um, so I definitely believe Ben should have that that you know kind of start that and that heavy work ethic to just get out there. And then, you know, hopefully with, with some hard work, it'll, it'll pay off and they can sort of get signed and, and then it becomes a little bit easier, I guess, with putting out records, etc. But yeah, I mean, if, if you're self-funded, it's, it's a hard slog. Yeah, absolutely. Like people, I guess, kind of respect or even know about the financial side of things about trying to get that hundred bucks from the next gig to get you to the next town. Yeah, I mean, a hundred percent in that statement. Like sometimes you've literally got to sell a certain amount of shirts to get 
enough petrol to make the yeah. next state. Like it's <laughs> it's mind blowing, it, but it's it's so fun at the same time. And like, yeah, it's it's a bizarre way to live, and I, I've done it for <laughs> for many years. But yeah, as it, it's amazing. I got to tour Europe and play festivals in America and in Europe and here and play with, you know a lot of my favorite bands. So. I I can't really complain. I I think we did quite well. Yeah, not to underpin anything. Yeah, absolutely. You guys, well, what the last three albums have been in the top twenty in Australia. You know, they're a unified label as well. In there, there's a ton of accomplishments in here, man. Yeah, no, like but definitely very proud of um, Aria charting and all that sort of stuff. Especially our first one, it was quite bizarre to you know receive a an a, a placement in in the music scene for a, for a metal band. Like we were all. Stunned. I think that everyone was stunned. Uh, unified, and everyone around us was just like, "Well, wasn't expecting that to happen, but we'll take it." Um, yeah, that was that was an amazing thing. And then to be nominated for an Aria Award was sort of the icing on the cake. Too bad we didn't uh, win it, but you know the experience was amazing. Well, yeah, I know there's a lot of bands out there, and a lot of them can't say that they've been anywhere near an Aria. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, that's that's the great thing. Like, I can look back on so many amazing things. I don't have to dwell on the fact that it is ending. It, it is ending, and it's you know it's going to be one sort of really fun last hurrah with people I enjoy. You know, I enjoy their company. They're great musos, and so it's, it's going to be good, and, and I've just got to focus on the positives, really. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, we should mention this is your yeah final farewell tour, our uh, last leg tour, and you'll be, what, from the 14th of October to the... Fifth in Melbourne at Max Watts. That's like you guys are just going to give it all. Of this this is like a no hold barred tour. Yeah, no, it's, it's it should be good. Like one one last um, show in each sort of state, and yeah, hopefully we get to say goodbye to a, a lot of uh, smiling, happy faces out there. That'll be awesome. So, will it be hard to jump back on stage, knowing you know you're never going to jump back on? Yes, <laughs> I mean, like I'll, I'm I'm definitely going to continue doing music like I don't think I could ever not play live and not write music it's it's just too sort of ingrained in me yeah. now and I, and I just enjoy it too much but yeah I mean it's it's going to be insanely weird getting up as the last time um, you know being a part of Barry and Rona and it's just I think yeah towards the end of pretty much every single show um, it's going to be pretty a pretty emotional time to be honest yeah, yeah, that's a lot of emotions flooding around. There's you know, the craziness of being up on stage as well. That's just uh, this is a a solid gig that I think everyone needs to get to just to witness a uh, amazing, amazing metalcore band go through this on stage. Yeah, no. <laughs> Hopefully, I just don't tear up every night. Maybe maybe <laughs> one night on the very last night. But... Yeah, at the end, I think that's allowed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it'll be it'll be it'll be extremely hard. But as you said, it's like the excitement of playing live and, and having people sing your words and like it's mm. it's going to be such you know it's going to be great because live is just that that thing that i crave and then you know that last song is just going to be like oh shit this is <laughs> this is it yeah uh, well yeah you said you're keeping on going what are what are future plans are we going to get another another awesome band out of you uh i hope so we're doing um uh, i'm doing a project called don't die like i did which is uh we've been sort of focusing on just um, covers, et cetera, at the moment, just getting our sound and tones and, and all that sort of stuff. And we've just recently um, written a, an EP of originals. So oh, that'll probably be coming out, um, you know, sort of towards the end of the year. And as I said, it's just I love putting out music and writing music and recording music. And, and hopefully this new project, Don't Die Like I Did, can allow me to once again, you know, play live in a slightly different different uh, scene but you know it's still live and it's still that that interaction with people that it's amazing absolutely we have this there's this building uh like um music uh industry going on in australia at the moment it's just getting that foot in the door and that you know just everything as well as financially yeah no it's it's i mean yeah the, the whole thing about the the new project is no pressure no labels just you know, we put something out and if someone likes it and they want to do something with it that allows me to play more live shows, I'm all good. But if no one likes it and no record labels want to touch it, then 
I'm also good with it. That's it's a nice feeling, no like pressure about what this music is. It's just music. Yeah, that's a nice sentiment to have, just to relax and do what you do. Yeah, it's it's been a while, but um, I'm <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. That is really cool. I think that's what everyone needs to do from time to time. The stress can take 100%. away from artistic merit just a bit. Oh, 100%. Sometimes <laughs> it steals it for months. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, seeing, or well, you should mention again, uh, you'll be at Max Watts on the 5th of Melbourne. That'll be a final show of the tour. This tour is going to be amazing. But yeah, go and definitely, uh, all of your albums are online right now, ready to download, ready to everything. We'll be pumping the hell out of that um, until you guys get to Melbourne, I think. Awesome, legend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, At least yeah. someone will be. Uh, <laughs> I think it'll be. Well, are you going to keep all of your uh, all of your albums and stuff online? Is there going to be a back catalogue here? Yeah, I think I'll, I think we'll keep it all up. I mean, it's just um, you know, hopefully, you know, Bernie and Verona, you know, still can affect people and and get people listening and sort of connect with people. That'd be great. But it's just it's just I guess the the actual live sense and. And no more albums is is really the only thing that's dying. But yeah, if people still want to download our music free, pay whatever, um, and 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 enjoy our songs, that's continually to be awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Australia's got this amazing, amazing past history of stuff that's already online, just ready to listen to. Yeah, exactly right. But yeah, seeing as this kind of we're kind of reminiscing, what would you say was your best gig for you personally? Best gig for me personally would be um, probably Empiricon Fest in um, Leipzig, Germany. I, Good one. I don't think I'll ever get out of uh, sorry get over um, walking on stage in in this massive massive aircraft hangar <laughs> to like and it, it was just such a long narrow room and it was like ten thousand people just stretched so far you know back but so thin like thin a corridor um and just yeah playing to that many people and then you know the first 20 rows or so jumping up or down and and yelling the words like it was just insane we all walked off stage and just went what the hell just happened how (laughs) do they know how do they know our music like we're just these no ones from australia and yeah i don't think Anything will ever beat that. It was it was absolutely amazing. That is, yeah, you. That is the dream. Exactly, that yeah, and and I dream. have I have lived, you know, my my personal dreams out yeah, for, you know, going on nine years now, um, <laughs> and you know, the buried in Verona was the vehicle, but yeah, it was. We've done some awesome things. It's, it's awesome. Well, hopefully, we can get you up on that stage again with this new project that's coming out. Fingers crossed. Yeah, it'd be good. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I think I'm almost out of questions, Matt. It's really good to get you on the phone and talk to you guys. We've been big fans, although it is a, a bit of a somber interview. It's all good. It's all good. I mean, it's it's, it's still exciting, but yeah, I know the the um, the undertone is definitely a, <laughs> a uh, well, this is it. <laughs> well, hopefully you can take all of this and put it into a new album. You never know. You never know. That's it. That's good. Um, yeah, I'll mention again. Um, you guys are starting uh, the 14th of October, so that's now? This, next weekend? Yeah, this weekend yeah. Um, we play um, Bunbury and <laughs> Perth, and then following weekends Brisbane and Sydney, and then the last weekend is Adelaide and Melbourne. Wow, that is a massive tour. Uh, but yeah, uh, fifth and Fifth in Melbourne at Max Watts. That's going to be an amazing gig. Uh, yeah, as we said before, all all of your albums are online, ready to download right now, uh, including the new one, uh, Vulture Above, uh, Lines Below, which came out in August last year, which is still awesome, and will be yeah. for a long time. 